Hello guys and welcome to another quick little video in Carolina ADC reviews. Today we're going to look at some cool tools from Wheeler Engineering. Now if you do a lot of builds, installation, uh, replacement parts, whatever you do, uh, site changings on your firearms, this could be some great tools to have um, from these guys at Wheeler. They've been around for many years. They're very into the gunsmithing supplies and everything and other stuff as well. So make sure to check the link down below if you want to check out any of these products or anything from Wheeler Engineering. This closure, they did send this for me to check it out and everything. And we'll try to, try to kind of showcase everything they offer. And I think this will be a great thing to have if you do a lot of builds and everything else. Now. We're going to start with this one right here and put this to the side. Uh, this is going to be the Wheel Engineering 72-piece basic professional gunsmithing screwdriver set. Again, this pretty much have every size, um, flathead, uh, star bit, all that good stuff. And as you can see, this is the 72-piece. You also have the 89-piece, which have more, more uh, drivers or bits or what do you want to call it <laughs> that will, uh, you know, benefit you if you use a lot of more of different sizes here's the little short everything that comes in this um set again the ones on top are not on this one because it is the 72 not the 89 so let's put this to the side and we're gonna check out see what we got now these right here i put myself because i have extra bits know where to put them especially these right here so you can always add to it uh they cannot be uh no longer in this because the lid will not close down and everything else now we do have two uh kind of drivers here or or what do you want to call it handles <laughs> that you can have and they are magnetic so it holds the bit real nice and everything again there you go and i tell you the tooling and everything they use materials on this dry bits are very nice and fine again they do have different sizes just to give you an idea what i'm talking about see it's one of us wider than another one i was a lot more finer so if you have things that need to be uh they're a lot more uh fine to get to then you have different different sizes you can see right there how fine that is and it's pretty much going to be mostly flat heads uh, you do have a few uh, star bits up here some um uh, star bits as well not many different size but again you have the chart here to tell you what size they are so they are going to be eight one eight hex um different size 532 316 here's your common tours t10 t15 t20 which you're going to use a lot on your um you know like your red dots and stuff for um you know tight down a mount or something uh, you also got your those bit as well, which is uh, the hex. And a little tray right here where you can dump all your screw. If you take some apart, you won't lose it. Have a little tray. Again, this is the 72 piece. Uh, as far as the prices go, check the uh, first link. It'll tell you. You can look it up again. Um, one thing I want to tell you is that I would love to show you how to use some of this. But it's common sense. Screwdriver, flathead, use it. And use it in common things so here's the box just to show you and this one makes it um like i said what makes it our hollow ground flat bit so much better than standard shaped flat bits so there you go that's what i was talking about here where well, you need to get somewhere and get a good good perfect fit so you won't strip those screws and anything like that and gouge them and all that good stuff tear them you know all that good stuff and this is what i mean how you can tear them up so that's good to have because like i said a lot of your firearms especially like here revolver they had those real fine deep um slots that you need to get to just like it's showing right here and that way you don't mess up your screws stripping them or anything like that so that's one one kit you can have and i tell you i've been using this a lot especially it helps out with those size bits and everything so the next one is one of my favorites and this i think is gonna be a great 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 tool to have and this is the fat wrench um it's a torque wrench basically so um if you need to torch something now so so many pound footage or whatever you can easily do that so and again you got your common bits here for uh if you're doing scopes mounts and everything uh put the right torque and everything and as you can see you have the uh 
pound footage here and all you do is pull out and twist and go to your right amount footage that you want to do and if you need to go back less then you can have that so pretty much you get your bit so if you have a scope mount and you want to tighten it down i suggest getting one of these because you don't want to over torque it or put it too tight and not be able to get off and you want the right right even uh torque uh footage pound on your um mount scope mounts or even your red dots uh when you start your red dots um put some red lock tight and then you tie them to the certain footage pound and it's gonna be even all the way around and it won't uh damage your screw or anything like that else. so here it is pretty much uh just a it is scope rings rifle guard screws or your hand guards and stuff like that window screw base screws um and here's the range 10 to 65 pounds so if you wanted to know what the range is there it is the accuracy is plus two inch per pound so yeah pretty simple self-explanatory um great tool to have again uh if you do a lot of mountain on scopes and everything um I really suggest this. I've been using this a lot for my red dots. Uh, make sure to look up the information on how much footage per pound you need to tighten your screws up on your red dots, especially your scope and everything. Contact the manufacturer to get that information. They, I'm sure glad to give you that information. But as you can see, it comes in a little carry case. Very neat, nothing moves around. You can throw this in your uh, you know, toolbox or whatever you have, or bag, range bag. You can put toss it in there and you have something very very compact as you can see and simple to carry all right so we got those out of the way let's get to the main one um again do the youtube i cannot show you how to install any sites or anything like that so i'm just going to show you what all comes in the box which is simple and this one that i'll be using a lot lately i did have one it was kind of cheap and kind of broken me so this came handy right at the moment and the cool thing about this one that i've been watching is it's designed to uninstall or just front and rear dovetail sides. As you can see, how the MMPs and the Glocks, or just the MMPs and 1911s, um, you have that portion on there, which is the dust cover, people call it, where a lot of the tool sides do not, they're not able to put in there and take the front side off. So that was the problem I had with my MMP and my six hour front side was having an issue to take those off and I had to do it by hand and you have to drive them and you end up damaging your slide scratching it or even damaging the site if you punch them out if you have a vice grip and everything so this comes in handy for that main purpose um, like I said see how that front is there and you can able to put in there and remove your your site very easily without damaging your slide and everything else so here's another look just like I was saying so if you have a dust cover in the bottom, you are able to because it's open there and you can stick it through. Um, very smooth, very heavy duty, nice tool. Uh, side pusher here, people, a lot of people call it. So basically what you do is you unscrew these two big knobs up here and you pull it up, adjust it to the height and everything. Uh, and you take the slide from this side in. You use this two knobs here to hold the slide left to right so it won't move, so it's straight. And then you use this right here. You can switch it around as you can see. Uh, take those screws out, flip it around if, if you need so. And you can um, remove your sight. And as you can see, it's got the channel open right here where I was telling you about that dust cover on your front slide. And then of course, you can tighten down here on top. You can hold the slide down right here as well. Pretty simple. And then you got your handle right here, left to right to move. Very easy, very nice. Uh, these are on the more expensive side, but they are great quality. And you wanna have no issues with this as far as I can tell, but time will tell. So, but this is a winner for me because again, if you have a lot of firearms and change your own sights, you got the front, right here special 1911 where you have to push the front side out this definitely will help right here keep from getting your farm scratching everything and as you can see you can lock it down nicely 
and yeah do all your site changes and everything so but again do to youtube i cannot show you anything of that on video so pretty much it that's pretty much very simple uh you know me showing you this products from wheeler which i really appreciate them send those for me to try out definitely gonna put them to use of course and if i can get this back in the box that'd be great There we go. <laughs> but anyways, uh, definitely if you do a lot of gunsmithing on your own, definitely recommend getting these tools here. Again, very neat, very, very nice quality products. Again, here's the manual for the sight pusher. Take it apart, how to use it. And like I was saying right here, you got those covering the front that definitely will help get those sights off your gun again that instruction here is very easy to use guys very self-explanatory um yeah so that's pretty much it and again like i was showing you what it was you can swap this around right here for your angles and your flight back rear size you know some of them have angles up like this and some are flat like this that's what it's for all right guys that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple video again thank you for wheeler engineering for sending these products uh very enjoyed them definitely gonna put it to use a lot like i say i do a lot of builds a lot of installation a lot of other products so i have to remove things on and off firearms and everything like that especially with the side pushing it'll be it's gonna be a big help so guys Make sure to check this guys out if you're looking for tools for your gunsmithing uh you know stuff and everything <laughs> make sure the guys out they got a lot more stuff they got trigger um gauges and stuff like that with pound weights you can check on that which hopefully that's the next thing i will get so i can do more trigger uh poundage tests and everything so you can see but anyways guys that's pretty much it i think i talked long enough here 12 minutes and Hopefully everybody uh, having a great day. Again, thank you for everybody for being a big supporter channel. Best way to support channel, give this video a big thumbs up. Check these guys out. Follow the links down below to use. Don't cost you any extra. Helps the channel and, you know, revenue and all that. But the best way to do is support this channel is subscribing and also give this big thumbs up. So that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. As usual, see you in the next one. Goodbye.